All right, in the engine area of this uh, F350 uh, diesel, going to talk about what we see. Uh, get to the engine here in a minute, but just uh, to kind of cover some of the uh, originality uh, underneath the hood. Um, it's obvious. It's all. It's an all original paint truck, um, but uh, lots of date markings on several of the uh, body parts. Also. Uh, indicating uh, again they've not been changed or messed with or anything uh, this was a March um, of 1990 assembled vehicle uh, we got a uh, uh, March 8th um, uh, nose piece on this uh, inner front fender there it is uh, the uh, actual inner fender is a March 14th stamp uh, right there um, it's got an A2 after that A Chicago uh, two would be second shift. That's how these uh, work. Um, March 14th, uh, W2 is Woodhaven, uh, Michigan uh, stamping plant. Uh, but anyway, March 14th on that. Uh, factory um, inspection paint marks uh, on the inner fender there, uh, on the upper radiator core support there. Um, there's one on the hood over here and another one on the inner fender right there and uh, this is a March 9th uh, Woodhaven uh, first shift front fender just drove by Woodhaven uh, a few days ago they're still knocking out panels today um, got the original buck tag on the bulkhead with a nice little bit of body color overspray on the corners of it uh, there it is and I believe those upper numbers are going to be a VIN match and then some codes for the options and accessories. Um, that's what we see there. Uh, I don't see a date code on this hood, uh, but I'm not bothered by that. I uh, would speculate that it's probably underneath this hood mat, which is an excellent, excellent shape. No rodent damage or anything uh, weird uh, or unusual uh, in the slightest. Uh, looks like there might be a time code on this uh, um, hood hinge uh, but uh, again nothing looks like it's been messed with um, there is also very likely uh, March 7th right here on this piece um, I'm guessing that there is a date code underneath this uh, riveted plate um, on the inner fender that we see there both batteries have been replaced um, March 19th on the or uh, March of 2019 and January of 19 um, dual battery obviously uh, being a diesel uh, engine block heater um, all of the wiring and I'll start at this corner and work my way around and also looking down that lower radiator core support it's spotlessly clean there's no certainly no rust no corrosion no nothing um, not even any dirt to speak of. Um, and, um, again, we'll get back to wiring here in just a second. The uh, plastics in the separate radiator core support are in really nice shape. Um, is that going to be a March 8th, 1990 date code? I think that's what that is on that hood latch. We'll always know the era that I shot this video in with the mask laying on the upper core support is the coronavirus era. Anyway, excellent plastics. Ford, uh, real Ford headlights are not aftermarket replacements or anything weird like that. Um, you can see there's hardly any wear and tear along the leading edge of the hood latch. Um, just nothing. Nothing looks like it's really shown any wear and tear. Uh, at all. Anyway, uh, the wiring is all in excellent shape. I don't see any evidence of mice or rodents chewing or gnawing on anything. It's a real Motorcraft solenoid, not a parts shelf replacement. Same thing with this um, voltage regulator. Um, it's a real Motocraft part. Uh, March 20th on this heater blower motor. Um, uh, March 20th of 1990. Um, 
original jack is still in place, judging by the jack base, which has got still clean and shiny paint on it. I don't believe that's ever been down on the ground at all. A little bit of rubbing or something, maybe, on that uh, fender liner right there, where the material right there as well is worn away. Uh, this AC line has a March 8th of 1990 uh, dated hose on it. Again, everywhere you look, you want to you know just kind of nitpick it apart. Um, you'll see lots and lots of date code correct components. This air pump hose has a uh, February 19th, 1990 date code on it. Um, heater hoses are original. Uh, the um, upper and lower radiator hoses are original. Uh, it's just it's sort of a nice way to document what these things really were kind of when they came off the line. Anyway, back to the wiring. All in excellent condition on this side. Nothing looks like it's been repaired. There's a big nest of wiring down here that again all looks to be in very good condition. Nothing frayed. Lug wrench clamped in place right where it ought to be. All good things. Uh, recorded the date code on the wiper motor, that's original. Um, all pretty great stuff. Uh, 7.3 liter uh, International Harvester diesel. Uh, engine oil is dead on the full line on the dipstick. Uh, engine coolant is very nice and clean, um, protecting to, uh, I believe, 25 below. Uh, these are Motorcraft belts, uh, and I would be uh, shocked to discover that they are not uh, the originals. I'm sure they are. Um, and uh, they don't show any major cracking, deterioration, anything unusual like that. Um, if I'm reading that AC compressor clutch carefully, uh, 9K13, I believe, is going to be uh, October 13th of 1989. Uh, that would make that a date correct. Air compressor, uh, not air compressor, compressor for the AC. Um, there's no notable fluid leaks from the top side of the engine. No cracks or cosmetic damage in the fan shroud. Date code for the hose is in blue right here. Couple spots a little surface corrosion, but you got nothing really unusual. Um, brake fluid is full. Um, that might be the original Dearborn fluid, um, but uh, I don't know for certain. But it's a little on the dark side. Um, uh, juice clutch is nice and full uh, in the uh, clutch master up there. So, kind of a long-winded video here, but it's just a highly, highly original, uh, unmessed with engine. You can see here a little bit of breakdown in that fender liner um, material right there in that area. Power steering fluid is at the proper level. I to mention that. Anyway. Just a very original, unmessed with engine area that uh, shows very, very nicely. All right, back with you for more in just a minute. Thanks for watching.